Millipedes are known for their multitudes of legs. For this reason, they get the name millipedes, which in Greek translates into a thousand feet. Millipedes are often confused for their carnivorous counterparts, centipedes. The main way to differentiate these groups is to look at the number of legs per section. Millipedes have two pairs of legs per section, while centipedes have only one. Millipedes prefer to live in dark, damp locations such as under logs and rocks. To understand millipedes, we will be discussing in this video their origins, defenses they use, the role they play in the ecosystem, and our local largest millipede, the iron worm. Millipedes are ancient, with the first millipedes emerging before fish, dinosaurs, or mammals even existed. They were one of the first creatures to live fully on land and not in the ocean. The most notable ancient millipedes are Theropleura, measured up to 7.5 feet long and 1.5 feet wide. This massive size allowed Arthropleura to fit in with the giant salamanders and dragonflies who also existed in the swamps of the Carboniferous period. While millipedes may not have a venomous bite like their centipede cousins, they do have defense mechanisms. Most will curl up to use their hard shell to protect themselves. Many species also produce foul-tasting liquids to dissuade predators from consuming them. The most notable defense tactics used by American millipedes are used by the Aphaloria millipedes of the Appalachian Mountains, who can produce a weak form of cyanide to discourage birds and rodents from attacking them. Millipedes play a critical role in helping our forests sustain life by recycling nutrients from rotting wood back into the forest floor. Every species of millipedes consumes rotting wood and leaves, turning them into frass or millipede poop, which is more easily recycled into the forest floor. Millipedes are a part of a larger community of organisms that consume rotting plant matter. These include rove beetles, uh, fungi, and slugs. All of these organisms help keep our forest soils productive to this day. Our largest local millipede, nicknamed the iron worm, can grow up to 11.5 centimeters. They are largely nocturnal and survive the winter by hibernating in the soil. The longest recorded specimen had 375 pairs of legs. The restoration of mature hardwood forests by our local forest reserves has allowed the species to re-establish themselves within the Chicago region. Mm -hmm.